What's going on guys? T-Mart here and today I'm very excited to talk more about weapons in Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. We actually got three new images today released by Game Informer that I found pretty interesting and I wanted to share with you guys because we're going to have transforming weapons in this game, which is uh, is crazy to think about. Like, weapons you can swap on the fly to change their characteristics and how they perform. And I figured, what would be better suited for this sort of commentary than some Ripper gameplay? So yes, guys, this is Call of Duty goes to Whoa, throwback, right? Like, it doesn't even seem that bad anymore. Everybody hated this game in the moment. I actually never really minded it, but the community as a whole hated this game. And, uh, you know, watching this gameplay, I, I kind of missed the boots on the ground. I'm not going to lie. I shed a little tear. But um, the Ripper in Call of Duty Ghosts was a AR-SMG kind of like hybrid weapon. So you could switch in between SMG mode, which we're in right here, and then switch to AR mode where you flipped up the sight. And uh, the gun just kind of transformed to have attributes that were better suited for those long-range engagements. So this was a groundbreaking weapon. It was something we really hadn't seen before in Call of Duty. And it looks like we are going to have a lot of this sort of thing in Infinite Warfare. So getting into these images, this is the first one right here. You guys can see this is a weapon from Kindle Ballistics. If you guys remember our video from a couple of days ago, Kindle Ballistics is the name of the weapons manufacturer that designs ballistic weapons. Weapons that shoot bullets, old school weapons, M4s, M16s, that sort of thing. Uh, this one really does doesn't give us much I just I thought it was kind of cool like how much detail they're putting into this game and like it's like the backstory of the backstory like not only is there a story mode but then there's a story about the weapons developers in the story mode you know what I mean like it just it gets pretty deep and I thought this was kind of a cool image I want to share with you guys but the next two images are where it really counts so first up we have this image right here so what comes to your mind when you first see this FMG9. I hope you guys said that at the same time as me. The FMG9s from Modern Warfare 3, aka the bullet hoses. This looks very, very, very similar to that weapon. Just kind of like small, machine pistol-like, boxy. It doesn't have that collapsible stock like the FMG9s had, but uh, it's still like, it's a very similar looking thing. Now, what this weapon is right here, this is actually an SMG that you can pull apart into akimbo machine pistols, all right? So look at the weapon a little bit closer. You might not have seen it right away, but there are actually two triggers on this weapon. This is when it's all put together as an SMG, but then you, you can see there's kind of like a split in between the triggers. You're going to be able to rip it apart, and it turns into two different kind of like machine pistol type things. So that's absolutely insane. You have an SMG that can switch into a close range rate of fire, just bullet hose system, kind of like the FMG9 Akimbo was. That's just, it's incredible. It's crazy. And I can't wait to check that out. Now, the next image is uh, something we've kind of seen before too. So what this is right here on top, you guys can see, that's very obviously a sniper rifle. We've actually talked about that before in a previous video on this channel a couple of days ago. But uh, that's a sniper rifle. You can see you've got the sniper scope up there, you've got the sling on it, you've got the bipod, you've got the side loading magazine, all kinds of stuff like that. Very obviously a long range weapon. But down on the bottom, you guys can see the scope folds down to the side of the weapon, the barrel shortens, and it becomes more of kind of like an assault rifle, uh, you know, maybe kind of like a, a marksman rifle or something like that. But it's not a sniper rifle anymore. It's going to be a little bit better suited for those closer range engagements. So this is another example of a transforming weapon. We've actually kind of seen this before in Call of Duty Ghosts as well. Ghosts got weird with their DLC weapons. The Ripper was one of them. The other one was the Maverick. But uh, the Maverick, you couldn't switch on the fly. You, you had to choose either the sniper version or the AR version. But it looks like with this weapon, whatever this thing's called in Infinite Warfare, you're going to be able to switch on the fly and uh, one moment you're going to be popping shots at fool's long range the next moment you are going to be you know using essentially an assault rifle so uh, i don't know I, I found this really really interesting it's definitely a, a new dynamic we really haven't seen too much of before like i said ghost was the first to do it but uh it's not like it was on a lot of weapons in the game just a couple of the dlc weapons i'd uh, i'd be interested to see what you guys have to say you know i'm kind of torn like Obviously, it's a very cool thing. It's something unique. It's something fun. It's something different. Uh, but take, for example, this AR sniper combo. Like, if it was really good at being an AR and really good at being a sniper both at the same time, that wouldn't be fair because you can dominate kind of like two areas of a playing field. And that's just, that's, that's not right. You shouldn't be able to do that. But at the same time, if each one of them is too weak, then you don't really dominate anything. You're kind of at a disadvantage across all landscapes there. Like, it's just, it's a really weird, hard, kind of like balancing issue to hit, in my opinion. Like, I remember in Call of Duty Ghosts, the Maverick really wasn't that great. The Ripper, 
was fantastic. It was one of the best guns in the game. So it's just, it's something that I feel like, you know, having two weapons combined into one is going to make it very, very, very difficult to, to balance correctly. But uh, who knows what they're going to do? These couldn't, you know, these could not even be in multiplayer. We don't even know if they're going to be in multiplayer. Everything we know so far is single player. But uh, I'd be surprised if something like this didn't make it over to multiplayer. And uh, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see what happens. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to catch you guys later. Make sure you guys check out this video right here if you guys haven't seen it yet. This is episode one of Legends of Gaming. It's a really awesome kind of like competitive gaming crazy show that I was a part of. It was a lot of fun. I think you guys will enjoy it if you guys go over there and check it out. If you do, make sure to leave a team art sent me here down in the comments. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to catch you guys later. Peace out.